The National Alliance on Mental Illness in Iowa continues to advocate for resources in the state. NAMI Day on the Hill is coming up on February 20th in Des Moines. So joining me now is Kurt Rogan with NAMI Lynn County. Thank you for being here. Well, thank you for having me. You know, I'm really concerned about a few things. Iowa ranks 31st in the nation in terms of youth with high mental health needs but low access to mental health care. And suicide is the second leading cause of death for Iowans age 15 to 34. In Tuesday's Gazette, it said that two thirds of the psychiatrists in Iowa practice in just three counties, Lynn, Johnson, and Polk. And that means that a lot of Iowans have to travel long distances to get treatment. But with treatment, most people with mental health issues can improve and lead healthy lives. So what do we do about it? On February 20th, the uh, people from the 13 NAMI chapters in Iowa will go to Des Moines and we're going to ask our legislators for these four priorities. We need more behavioral health services and programs in schools for students and staff. We need strategies and incentives to recruit and retain a mental health workforce in Iowa. We need to put some dollars behind that new 988 telephone crisis line, and we need a more consistent response, crisis response system across the state. And then we need to help those people with dual diagnosis, mental health issues and substance abuse issues. We need more acute care, more long-term care, more housing options. Now, why should we care about these things? One in five adults will experience a mental health issue in a given year and one in 20 adults will experience a serious mental health issue. You or a family member could someday be directly affected. Thank you, Kurt. And remember, if you're struggling, you can always call 988 to connect to a local person who can help. Kurt, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Stay with TV9. Your